The Adam Smith Awards are globally recognized as the industry benchmark for best practice and innovation in corporate treasury. Throughout this dedicated series, we take a deep dive into each of the winning solutions of 2021 in conversation with the creators themselves. Hello, I'm Sophie Jackson, Joint Publisher and Head of Strategic Content at the Treasury Today Group. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the overall winner and the two highly commended winners of the best-in-class Treasury solution in the Middle East. Any company that has implemented a Treasury solution or is in the process of being implemented in the Middle East and or UAE will qualify, including Sharia-compliant or Islamic bank solutions. This might be a single country solution or might span several countries across the region. is Abdul Majid Saeed, VP Financial Reporting, Controls and System, International Company for Water and Power Projects, ACWA Power. Congratulations. My name is Abdul Majid. I am working as a Vice President in Aqua Power. I am responsible for financial reporting, internal controls and systems implementation and monitoring as well. As a growing organization, Aqua Power, you know, in terms of our core product, which is electricity, we are always into new technologies and the new techniques coming up. So there is a business side of it, and then it correlates with our business, you know, values and objectives, where we are being recognized externally on our internal processes or the initiatives which we have done, which is more operational in nature, which is not our core business, but support function, I would say. And it was a lot, not only from for, for the organization, for our team as well. It's a, any external recognition and a well-renowned recognition is always being taken up as a big thing. I'm proud of it. It's one of my you know, big achievements of 2021. And I talk about it across the organization, a lot about this. The project uh, started with overall digitalization drive and initiative. This is like one of the initial projects we started for automating our treasury or cash management operations and it's like a journey for us so we started with uh, automating um, our payments and then banking connectivities and then we got on board on on the ram structures and on, on, on the liquidity side and then bringing those products to support um, you know the commercial or the business side of the organization where we're creating additional liquidity and then the real value of the automation and digitalization has started realizing in form of, uh, you know, the, the products or the things which we can do. Otherwise, I mean, if you don't have those things at back end available, we may not be able to proceed or we would have taken longer to proceed with that. So I think it's a, it's a, it was a journey which then ended up in a big achievement. The only key thing was we were persistent that we need to improve it. We still are. We are still exploring new things. We still look into the improvements or the efficiencies which we can bring in. And uh, I think um, that's how we reach wherever we are right now. And when I look back, it took like a took like a lot of efforts and, and a lot of time being spent on it, but it's worth doing that so far. The process is managed. It's a it's a broader teamwork within the organization. The first thing uh, or the most important thing is the sponsorship from our top management, from our CFO, and his own interest in bringing those improvement and digitalization. I think um, a lot of drive is being led by, uh, by our CFO himself. That, is, that gives us a lot of motivation to proceed on that. Having said that, within the organization, the common objectives which we have and, and having a drive to work with that common objective, partnering with, uh, with our IT, partnering with our you know, implementation partner, and then partnering with, with the service providers, uh, either in form of the operational services or the banking services. So it's a collaborative effort where we all work together. The key point is, you know, the sharing knowledge, sharing ideas, talking about the, the, the concerns which we have, the problems which we have, finding solutions, and then, you know, working towards that to, to implement that. I think that's the key. But I've learned through the journey, like, uh, you know, initially uh, we were very skeptical whether we'll be able to do that or not. But I think the confidence we have from our management and then the, 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 the partnerships which we have, I think that support has helped us a lot to, to be brave enough to go and, and take uh, decisions and take uh, the leap of faith wherever required to move ahead. The main learning is uh, the process we went through. Any transformation process, we have challenges. You know, you know, 
And the main thing is how you visualize where are you heading and sharing that sort of a vision with, with the broader organization. So the most important thing which I learned is key in these things is one is the support you need to have with management. And this is what we had. We have a lot of backing and support from our management. Uh, you need to have a strong internal team. Uh, when I say strong means, you know, sharing the common objective that and with the can-do attitude. I mean, there is always a challenge. Like we face initially some challenges when we are integrating uh, the tools internally on the technical side, where IT was very efficient and they were like, um, you know, uh, at the minute it's, it can be done and they managed to deliver that. It, you know, takes some extra time, but those then. And then very important is the partners you are working with, you know, the people who are part of your implementation, who are partner, people who are offering services. Even like, you know, when, when we did our uh, VAM structure, we get a lot of support from, from JP Morgan, not only in implementation, in awareness as well, in a number of discussions, you know, making people aware of the product and making them understand what it is and at different level, because sometimes, you know, you have to explain things at a higher level and the same thing, you have to go at a transactional level and explain how this is going to work. So that, that communication with the organization and across the, the people or the stakeholders, uh, involved in the project, whether again as a service provider, the partners, or um, your internal partners like IT or other departments, the corporate finance, and so on. So that is very important to have that alignment in place. And now it's time for a word from their partner. I'm Stu Kofer, and I'm the Europe, Middle East, and Africa head of our payments product solution specialist team at JP Morgan. Well, we provided one of the solution components, our virtual account management solution, which is a ledger system that was complementing the other elements that you heard about. But mainly what we did is we employed our consultancy services to go and define the vision together with Aqua to understand and recognize those aims that they had and draw from our portfolio experience with in-house banks across all ranges of maturity in the region, just like Aqua, to think about what we could do as best practice, but then also push things a little bit further for them. And we also customized a tailored bespoke solution using the tool set that we had uh, for Aqua. Um, so we went through the full set of implementation, hypercare, testing after we were awarded the, uh, the solution together with them. And then we're able to look back on the experience and then talk about socializing it with the rest of the world to hopefully replicate success for other companies, deliver the same wins that Aqua did for its business. Well, we have some obvious elements that are part of the solution, things like the virtual account management ledger system, the bank connectivity, the in-house bank, the treasury management system. All of these are tools which are elements of the treasury redesign that was delivered for Aqua Power. I think the main ingredient for me though is the co-creation mindset and design thinking that they employed here. That's the main element of the solution, to define that dream together and invite your partners to the table to leverage best practice where possible and listen as you define that dream, that's very important. And so for me, you know, the main element of this is that Aqua was able to become an even more strategic partner to its business uh, and enable it to grow flexibly and in an agile way. Uh, that's a fantastic outcome. And the highly commended winner is? My name is Gerald Taylor. I'm Senior Manager Treasury at Deliver Hero. I'm responsible for Treasury Operations Cash and Liquidity Management. My name is Khaled al Fakhish and I'm the group CFO for Talabad and I've been with Talabad and the Delivery Hero family for almost five years and I'm responsible on the finance and the legal aspects of the business across the nine markets that we are operating. My name is Mahmoud Nasri, I am the Treasury Director for uh, MENA Region. Uh, I support uh, Talabad uh, in all the Treasury uh, required functions. So the award itself was well received within the treasury organization here within Delivery Hero and its subsidiaries. One of the team members stated that it was such of a great achievement and the award was like in the nick of a time with all, you know, COVID and all the respective projects that has been ongoing. So we kind of like favored and felt like all the effort and work that was put in 
from both central team in Berlin and the regional team in the Middle East as well has been well, basically a overwhelming and accepted award. And it proves that, you know, we're all on the right path to, to achieving a good cash liquidity management structure and also a treasury operational side in the region. For me, it was actually a very lovely surprise, I would say, because as Joel mentioned, it was something really good to, to appreciate success and to celebrate uh, such a success during the crazy thing that we are doing and we're facing on day to day, whether from a business side or also personally during the pandemic. So it's definitely a lovely thing to, to, to get appreciated and also to appreciate the whole team around it. So it was, was really amazing for me and I would assume it's the same for me. Yes, uh, definitely. Maybe my case is like a uh, special case. I joined Treasury lately. And, um, you know, after a couple of months of joining and knowing that uh, we as a company uh, did win this uh, uh, prize, it is uh, really relieving. And just uh, demonstrate uh, the efforts that the team was, was putting in place. And, yeah, it is a big morale for, for me and my team. Uh, and, uh, like, a very strong start for us. Uh, encouraging starts and challenging one as well because we need to continue what what the uh, previous team was doing. So yes, this is from my end. To start off with, I think um, Deliver Hero and and Talabat is a well known brands and companies in 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 the food and tech industry, and around the treasury, we've had like many challenges and obstacles that we wanted to overcome, and we've partnered with several um, uh, financial institutions here, including HSBC, in finding the right products and services to help us overcome certain hurdles. As we know that in the Middle East, it's quite a challenging market with these different regulations and currencies and, and so on. So working together with the team and the bank, finding the right structure, the right account, cash and liquidity management um, optimization was key um, to help support the growth of the company. Yes, absolutely. And I, I, would, I would definitely say that the growth is one of the biggest challenges we always face whenever we develop something new, right? So we want to make sure, and especially when it comes to treasury-related matters and banking-related matters, we want to make sure that we are having the right controls, if you know what I mean. We have the right level of, 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 of compliance, etc. But at the same time, we are at a tremendous growth. So finding the right balance between growth as well as making sure that you are implementing new processes and new systems that fits you, that helps you, etc., and becoming an enabler for the business to even fuel that growth. This is one of the biggest challenges we've always seen uh, in Talabat slash delivery, delivery hero, I would say. Mahmoud? Um, yes, uh, I couldn't agree more with Khaled and Jared. Um, uh, as they mentioned, uh, the thing that you will notice in, in Delivery Hero that they run fast and they run very quickly. Uh, this is the, the first challenge for me that with, with this size of a company and running it fast, first to meet, uh, you know, to meet competition, to meet the new um, business emerging outside. This was one big of the challenges. You're not finishing building something, then you're jumping to another build. And this was one of the challenges that will always be there. Secondly, the pandemic itself is, was another challenge. Uh, yet was very happy that we, during this period, with the support of our partners, mainly HSBC, we could uh, do a great job meeting these uh, challenges and even overcoming it. One of the biggest learning is, let's say, building a lot of synergies between the team in Berlin and also with the team in the region under Khaled and, and Mahmoud. And also for us getting a bit more insight into what can the banks offer to help us with our, our growth or solution, finding that one lean solution that can help us maintain visibility, control, and also the efficiency with our processes as we continue to grow and expand as well. So that has been I would say one of the overall learnings that I would take away out of this whole project for me. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, of course, the right banking partner and the right system is definitely an enabler for growth. But if you would ask me what is the single biggest learning, I would say it might sound cheesy, but think global, act local. So definitely 
working with, with the global partners such as HSBC and also with colleagues from Delivery Hero, something very important. But we want to make sure that we understand the local markets very well, the local requirements, the local regulations, the local processes, etc. So this is something very key in order to success with any, I would say, business idea or business initiatives, especially if you operate across uh, multiple markets and you operate multiple, uh, I would say, also verticals and, and, and business units. So, yeah, I think global act local would be the biggest one. Yes, Khaled. Um, also, as you mentioned, we should not, but I've learned that we do not compromise on the on the quality of the partner. So the HSBC was a very uh, quality partner that supported us during this period. So not, not compromising on that is a learning for us. Um, again, um, definitely the local experience is required and part of the learning. And uh, fortunately, uh, HSBC had its own, had the global plus the local experience that supported us during this period. So this is the other thing that uh, added value to our learning. A huge congratulations to all our Adam Smith Awards 2021 winners. Thank you for listening to this episode of our dedicated Adam Smith Awards podcast series brought to you by the Treasury Today Group. More episodes will be coming soon featuring other award-winning solutions. So please subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated wherever you get your podcasts.